Okay, everybody, this is uh, it too. Klein uh, uh, with a small update. Um, of the all the advices uh, I got the other days, uh, what did I do? I basically <coughs> built a ferrite uh, transformer using uh, the old joke device from a former project. It's the joke which I split in two halves, so I had uh, already wound it one time with 200 turns, uh, 0.3 millimeter both sides. And the only thing I did is I turned uh, kind of two primaries, uh, 25 turns, and it's uh, stranded uh, speaker wire, 25 turns each. Uh, on the secondary, I hooked up uh, two uh, 20 kilo ohm resistors for a kind of termination, and I, then I kind of just let it run again. Um, one modification I did yesterday, I have stabilized the uh, TL494 with a 9 volt regulator. So this one is now running very stable at uh, 9 volt, but uh, because yesterday uh, the voltage on the uh, input of the uh, 494 was fluctuating between uh, 10 and 12 uh, volts, so, so I stabilized it with a 9 volt. Um, but since I have this ferrite uh, uh, coil, uh, I can leave it run without any problem. It's nothing is getting hot. The only thing that's getting hot and smelly are the both resistors. Um, they get about 80 degrees Celsius at the moment. This one even. 90 degrees and the rest of the stuff stays uh, cool uh, I'm pulling 12 volt uh, half an amp that's that's a very very big difference with yesterday when I was still running 8 amps so the only thing uh, what I've changed is uh, basically uh, exchange the, uh, the transformer which was uh, this one this is the iron belt, you can see the belt here, like uh, Verpis explained, and uh, Vortex. It's kind of rolled up tape from iron, as I understand it. So I removed everything, I, I could not find any short or, 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 sh or whatever, but... Uh, Obviously there was something wrong because with this uh, ferrite it's uh, running okay. Um, I'm doing some measurements now again. I have one uh, red probe again across one of the uh, source resistors. They stay very cool. They were very hot yesterday. but uh, So the red probe is now on the uh, one of the MOSFETs uh, source resistor. And this is the... Uh, the output. There are some uh, some spikes and stuff, but uh, this is much much better, I think, than uh, than yesterday. Uh, the yellow trace is the uh, gate of the same MOSFET, and it's uh, 10 volt, kind of stable. Uh, I will do some drain measurements and some output measurements on the secondary for uh, the rest of the. Uh, as you managed to complete. Okay, these are the both uh, source current resistors displaying the current. It's about uh, 750 uh, millivolts across uh, 0.47 amps. So we have some ringing there, but. Uh, I will measure now the uh, the gates. Okay, these are the both gate signals. With, uh, 10 volt on both. Some ringing at the end and the start.
Uh, we'll now try to measure the drain uh, voltages. Okay, the probes are now across the both drains. I can see very nasty spikes. Uh, it shows 332 volt. So I think I still need this uh, Zener diodes. I have on order 28 volt Zeners. But these are very nice and nasty. Uh, one microsecond. 500 nanosecond spikes. This one. 300 volts. And the voltage is uh, kind of square wave, uh, 20 volt per division, so uh, something like 25 volts. Same here. So I guess I need some uh, some suppression there on the, the drains. Okay, going now to measure the. Uh, Secondary output. Okay, I have the yellow probe across uh, one of the resistors, one of the secondaries. And this is the uh, nice square wave, I think, that's coming out of it. It peaks uh, 480 volts. Almost 94% uh, duty cycle. Uh, I had to fiddle around a little bit with the duty cycle settings of the uh, TL494. They are, uh, I think, at 46% uh, and then I get this, uh, well, almost square output uh, sine, wa uh, sine wave, yeah, square wave. I think this, this is what I expected to see uh, when I started this. This is a nice square wave, 480 volts uh, frequency. Uh, should be about this 4.6 kilohertz as I understand it. So this one I can feed to the L2, uh, sorry L1 uh, coil and then this uh, resonating coil L2 should resonate uh, and, and sweep up uh, the signal there. And the other uh, the other secondary, this signal will be rectified and then I will have something like uh, 230 volts DC, I guess, uh, which will be used for the uh, nano pulser. So I guess this is uh, kind of uh, much better than I had before. The only thing is that I have some nasty spikes on the drain, so I still need this uh, 28 volts. Uh, Zeners across the drain source, which will be then uh, next time. Okay, thank you for all your advice and uh, uh, suggestions. Uh, obviously, uh, it was one of the main problems was this uh, iron toroid on this frequency. Thank you for watching.